Welcome to another lesson. In today's lesson, I will be teaching you how to construct the ray diagram for plane mirrors and what kind of images you'll be getting with plane mirrors. So we're going to construct the ray diagram for a plane mirror. Ray diagram for plane mirrors and once we say a plane mirror it means we're talking about a flat mirror like the ones that you use within your household the typical mirror that you just simply use as you're dressing up and you're using um, at the washroom the closet all of these flat plane mirrors that you use in day-to-day -day life which are simply um, smooth um, flat and just simply reflect the light directly without any alteration to the reflection of light. And if we sketch a plane mirror, and let's say in front of the mirror I have an object Let's say this is my object. And the object's position is given by XO. Object's position. And the height of the object as HO. So we have an object in front of a plane mirror located at XO and the height of the object is HO. And we're going to construct the image of this object using the ray diagram in front of a plane mirror. So the first thing that we need to keep in mind is whenever we are drawing the image for the object, it is important to keep a couple, couple things in mind. First of all, in a plane mirror, as light hits the mirror at 90 degrees, let's say I take ray number one, which is going straight forward towards the mirror, which is a ray of light, ray number one, This ray is going to be bouncing back off the mirror along the line it came from because it's hitting the mirror at a 90 degree angle. So if we extend ray number one and then we take on another ray, let's say this is ray number two, and based on the law of reflection, the angle of incidence equals to the angle of reflection. So this is ray number two. And this is the normal line. This is theta i, the angle of incidence. And this is theta r, which is the angle of reflection. Now, I'm going to use these two rays to help me construct the image in a plane mirror. Now, we can expect based on real life applications that we're going to have the object located at the same distance from the mirror and it has the same height and just simply reversed where left is right and right is left the same way that you're looking at yourself in a mirror if you raise your right hand it's going to be shown as your left hand so let's use the rays in order to help us construct the image so what i'm going to be doing is i will be extending this ray backwards and it will be at the same position away from the mirror and we'll give it the letter xi which is the image position so on the real world side your object at XO in the virtual 
side the image is located at xi and when i say virtual because this image is seen by your brain and it cannot be mapped on a surface our brain tends to see light in a straight line and we cannot map it on a, a surface in the case of a plane mirror so that's why we refer to it as a virtual so an object placed at xo will be reflected as if it's an image placed at xi behind the mirror let me extend the other way, ray number two, and let them intersect, let's say. At this specific point. Let's have some sort of minor adjustments. Here we go. Just to make sure that we are able to depict the image the way it should be depicted so in this case you will notice that once they meet at this point this is the point where i'm going to be having my image and my image will be exactly the same size as my object the same dimensions and it will be exactly the same height and we'll give it the letter HI. So in a plane mirror, we have the following conclusion. The image which is formed is represented as the following. The image position is XI, which equals to negative xo or we can say negative xi equals to xo and the minus sign just simply means that one of them is on the real side and the other one is on the virtual side they are not both at the same ends one of them is the opposite side of the mirror and the height of the image is hi equals to ho these are basically the rules that you need to keep in mind when you are constructing an image using a plane mirror if we trace the steps to what we have done so far the steps are quite straightforward you'll be taking ray number one let's retrace the steps where we are going to be taking ray number one then you're going to virtually extend it backwards then you're going to be taking ray number two make it hit the mirror and reflect it and then you're going to extend the reflected ray backwards to meet ray number one and at the point where they meet you're going to be having your image Now, I truly hope that you found the video beneficial. If you did and you want to join our community, feel free to hit the subscribe button and like the video. And I'll see you in the next class.